Hello, Americans. Some two months ago, we were shocked by the brutal massacre of 269 men, women, and children, more than 60 other Americans, in the shooting down of a Korean airliner. Now, in these past several days, violence has erupted again in Lebanon and Grenada. In Lebanon, we have some 1,600 Marines, part of a multinational force that's trying to help the people of Lebanon restore order. share something with you I think you'd like to know. It's something that happened to the Commandant of our Marine Corps, General Paul Kelly, while he was visiting our critically injured Marines at an Air Force hospital. It says more than any of us could ever hope to say about the gallantry and heroism of these young men. Young men who served so willingly so that others might have a chance at peace and freedom in their own lives and in the life of their country. I let General Kelly's words describe the incident. He spoke of a, quote, young Marine with more tubes going in and out of his body than I have ever seen in one body. He couldn't see very well. He reached up and grabbed my four stars just to make sure I was who I said I was. He held my hand with a firm grip. He was making signals and we realized he wanted to tell me something. We put a pad of paper in his hand. And he wrote, Semper Fi. Well, if you've been a Marine, or if, like myself, you're an admirer of the Marines, you know those words are a battle cry, a greeting, and a legend in the Marine Corps. They're Marine shorthand for the motto of the Corps, Semper Fidelis, always faithful. General Kelly has a reputation for being a very sophisticated general and a very tough Marine, but he cried when he saw those words, and who can blame him? That Marine and all those others like him, living and dead, have been faithful to their ideals. They've given willingly of themselves so that a nearly defenseless people in a region of great strategic importance to the free world will have a chance someday to live lives free of murder and mayhem and terrorism. I think that young Marine and all of his comrades have given every one of us something to live up to. They were not afraid to stand up for their country or, no matter how difficult and slow the journey might be, to give to others that last best hope of a better future. We cannot and will not dishonor them now and the sacrifices they've made by failing to remain as faithful to the cause of freedom and the pursuit of peace as they have been. I will not ask you to pray for the dead because they're safe in God's loving arms and beyond need of our prayers. I would like to ask you all, wherever you may be in this blessed land, to pray for these wounded young men and to pray for the bereaved families of those who gave their lives for our freedom. God bless you and God bless America. <laughs>